And with Google Identity, what you can do is you can create an administrator user, potentially even a super administrator user if you wanted to, inside your customer's account without having to pay for a license. So Brian asked the question, is it possible to use your own workspace account as an admin for a client's workspace or would you require to have access to the admin account on their workspace? Uh, for example, my account with domain A has access to domain B's admin dashboard. Brian, the easiest way to do that would be to be signed up as a Google reseller, but you need to have a lot of minimum requirements to do that. And uh, let me tell you, it's not the most fun business to be a part of because it takes an insane amount of scale for it to be anywhere near profitable. But if you are interested in that and you have a number of clients, you can get access to a reseller portal, which will allow you to actually manage subdomains underneath that. So we've got thousands of businesses that we manage support for, and they all sit in an administrator portal. And in that admin portal, we can actually access any one of our customers' admin accounts. If they allow us to, they've got to tick a button in their admin panel, and we can recover the account if it's been switched off. We can manage the billing, obviously, and we can, you know, if we need to do user operations or anything else in the back end of a customer account, we can do that via the admin panel as a reseller. Now, if you are someone and you just want to manage one domain, you just want to get access to another account, uh, you can actually use something called Google Identity. And with Google Identity, what you can do is you can create an administrator user, potentially even a super administrator user if you wanted to, inside your customer's account without having to pay for a license. So without having to assign a mailbox to that user, you can get access to that domain's admin panel with an identity without having to pay for an extra license. So that's the smartest way to get access from domain A over to domain B. You can't literally delegate access from one domain to another domain via you know, admin access or anything like that, but you can spin up a user without a mailbox using Google Identity Provider. And with that, you can access your customer's account with an external account. So if that's useful for you, that might be one way of achieving that. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.